Greetings and welcome to Vulcanoids. I'm Catherine of Sky and first of all a huge huge thank you to the developers of Vulcanoid who have sent me a key for to play this game for you guys today. Anyway, I have um I've explored this game just a very little bit and I was unsuccessful. <laughs> I I have to say the tutorial is slightly unforgiving if you time it wrongly. So we're going to see if I can do any better uh, and get our ship moving. Now this is a sort of a base uh building survival game. It's first person perspective uh, and we'll talk a little bit more about that later but as you can see you have this digging machine and you build various modules and uh it's um it's yeah we, we're gonna try to survive in a world that has all kinds of volcanoes that are erupting all the time so we're gonna gather resources and there are some baddies to fight with uh, with guns and stuff so we'll see how it goes all right let's start a new game and uh and figure out if we can do stuff yeah these guys are bad guys they shoot at you <laughs> i found that out i outran them i i was running really fast oh dear okay so we are here we are in um our ship and we need to talk to the captain. Now, I had explored all of these different things, and they each have different functions. And some of the things are quite weird, uh, like the work table. Um, but we'll talk about that in just a few minutes. Here's the captain. Hello, captain. Craft drill ship core. Good day, sailor. Before we can continue with the expedition, you will have to construct a device. Follow the given objectives, and you will soon be piloting your own drill ship. Main quest objective, get ship core upgrade to player inventory. All right, so this ship core upgrade is composed of many complicated things. Now, at the top of the screen, and I'm not going to point there because it doesn't work with, I mean, I guess I can up here. Volcano eruption in 957. They're not kidding. Uh, you better not be outside when that's happening. So we need to do various things. Um, and the first thing is the quest up here. Leave the sub to gather resources. So we're going to do that uh, and go up. It took me a while. There's an up and a down um, from the main place. Now we are out here. And the one thing that I can first say, please, devs, the head bob is driving me crazy. It literally makes me nauseous. There is no option to take that off. But I'm told that in Unity, that is an option. I hate head bob. It makes me so sick uh, to my stomach. So hopefully that will be uh, attended to as I know a lot of people are like me and they don't like this okay so we need to get coal and copper so we're gonna go up here there's some coal on this ridge I happen to know this oh, there's some scrap metal take it thank you and we'll get this coal so we use our pickaxe which is on number two on the hot bar down there uh, okay there's a little bit more here is there any more no we've gotten the 20 that we need but I want to get a little bit more because we're gonna need it there we go. Now coal is used for powering our magic machine. I'm just going to like take two of these nodes and we'll be good. Now we're going to go and get some copper. Now in the beginning of the game, like the tutorial part right now, it shows you these tags, mine copper or really far away. Um, when it's not a task that is in the upper right hand corner, they are, you have to come up to them and you have to kind of know what they look like. They do show up, but um, you, you have to be very close to them to see them so all right we so we got some stuff a little bit let's get some more copper quickly um we can look at our inventory with i uh, in just a second we'll just look at that in a second and you can see how much space we have in our inventory and these are divided into chunks uh backpack space apparently we have so many pockets you can fit so many things um so we're just going to try to fill up the backpack at the moment uh with stuff and I will give you a glimpse into death if you like. Let's see. Let's just do that. Let's go look at death for a moment here. You see, there's there's stuff going on down there. There are there are aliens there. They are quite dangerous. They will come and kill you. That's the volcano. Um, yeah, but those those robot things apparently they're causing some eruption. I wonder what that is. Oh, that's a new resource I haven't gotten to yet. But anyway, they live in these little mechanical towns, apparently, and they go and uh, they want to kill us. So anyway, um, volcanic eruption is in 7 minutes and 20 seconds. We need to hurry just a bit uh, and get some stuff created. Okay, they didn't see me. That's good. So I'm running. Shift will give you a boost of uh, run speed here. I'm going to try not to look at the screen as I'm running because it really makes me nauseous. So yeah, head bob has got to go. It is horrible, horrible, horrible. 
Maybe if I jump, it's better. Slight, it is actually slightly better if I jump, but still, one cannot jump all the time. Either that or third person is okay too. I like third person much better than first person. Um, go, go, jumpy, jumpy. Nice, smooth jumping rather than horrible head bobbing. Oh, head bobbing is the worst. Okay, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Okay, so we're in our ship here and we go down the stairs. All right, so unequipped tools, press two. So basically you repress the uh, button that you have, either wrench one, one or whatever. Okay, deploy storage module. Now this confused the heck out of me. I was like, what the heck does that mean? Luckily, if you are far enough back, it's it, they're little tiny, oops, let's press escape, little uh, tool tips like right here, it says deploy storage module. You can look at the icon and the icon sort of shows you what it is, but the, the icons being very um, monochromatic, um, or duochromatic, I suppose. Um, they, uh, a lot of them look quite similar. So, uh, it's good. They have these things here, but what you need to do deploy storage module means turn it on. Okay. Uh, and so you just click the outside of this box. Now you can click the menu to go and put your stuff in here. And that's what we need to do first. Put copper in storage. Okay. We need to place them in the online window. Now, don't worry. There's only one square, but as we drag stuff in, we get more squares, which is nice. Um, and then we get coal. Now this is kind of interesting. Shift lets you transfer one piece at a time. Control is five pieces. I really wish there was a transfer all with control or shift because it's kind of like, all right, that, that can be a feature added. Now this game is in early access, keep in mind. So lots of things can change. And that's partly why I'm talking about a lot of stuff because they are things that I would love to see in the finished game. Okay, so now we have deploy power module. That means turn on the power. So we're going to click this so the li little light goes on. Next thing, refinery module. Click that. I was so confused by this wording of deploy the modules. This makes absolutely no sense to me. Uh, and then we need to refine copper. Okay, so we go to the refinery station. This is very, like when you spawn into this world, it's so confusing. There are so many menus and all this stuff. Um, but go for the captain first. <laughs> That's all I can say. Right. So we want to refine car. Oh, sulfur powder. I bet that's a that yellow stuff we saw out there because sulfur is yellow. That was that, that looks like that. Okay. So copper ingots. What we want to do here is I can do, let's see, shift. Okay. If I shift click, it does five at a time. So I just want to make a bunch of, we just want this to make them all. Uh, okay. So, and then this is the reset. You can say you don't want to make any more. Uh, this takes from the storage, the online storage of whatever we collected here. Okay. So now we need to go to the production module. We need to deploy the production module, meaning turn it on again uh, and go to the menu. Okay, so now it's telling us to produce stuff. Now these are components. What I found really confusing is you could also go to the work table and produce stuff. However, this work table does not take stuff from the online storage, which is this thing imaging. You have to have it in your own inventory to be able to craft at the actual work table. So don't use, I guess, I don't know what this is for. Maybe if you just want to make something specific, I don't know. Anyway, or you don't want the other machines that have current, I don't know production to take from it. Anyway, it's, it's okay. We need to make two copper bolts. One, two, you can click it easily there. Copper tubes, one, two, copper plates, one, two, three, four. Okay. All right. Tubes. We need one more. All right. Now we need to produce ship core. So we need to click the menu button on the production station. We're already here. Okay. Select upgrades tab, which is here. Okay. And get a ship core. I want to wait till the volcano erupts actually. Um, okay. So let's do this one, produce ship core. Now this is, this is very strange because it tells you to make all this stuff, but it doesn't tell you what the heck it's for. I found that kind of like, uh, why? Okay. Produce breach replacement, which is in the consumables tab. Now I, for a fact, know that we need at least six of these. So let's make, uh, okay. Oh no. All right. We need to make more components. These guys need what? I don't know. I forgot what they need. They need copper plates. Let's see how much stuff is in storage. I want six of these breach replacements. We have two right now. 
Let's me. Oh God, the whole world is shaking. Um, I really get very dizzy from all of this. The eruption is in two minutes, so you can see the whole room is shaking. Um, I don't like screen shake in general, so I hope that's another thing that can be uh, changed because it literally is making you feel very, very bad. Okay, we need copper bolts for this and copper plates for this. So let's go ahead and make like a bunch of those. So consumables, one, two, three, four, I think. Oh, we're missing stuff again. Okay, good. All right, just, that's fine. All right, so now we need to click on, okay, so now we have very rough stuff at the top. Hide from the eruption. So we can see what's going on if we look at the periscope, which is here. Uh, you can see the volcano is definitely heating up over there. Um, we'll come back to it in a, in probably one minute. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? Um, see if we can do production station, we need to do modules. Oh my God. Production. Do, do, do. Tier one. Okay. Okay. And then refinery tier one, which is this one. Great. We have enough stuff to make all that stuff. Okay. So we have stuff. You can get energy. All right. They're giving us messages. Energy is needed to have production running. Look at the core stats panel, um, which is, I have no idea where that is actually. Core stats. Ah, here we go. Energy. Okay. Run into the submarine. Quickly run into the submarine. Let's go and look at the periscope and we'll deal with the other stuff later. We have volcanic eruption in 30 minutes or 30 seconds, not 30 minutes, haha, <laughs> that would be most interesting. But what's good is that we got all of this production done um, before the volcano erupts because there is a specified amount before uh, the next, oh gosh, it's going to, it's, it's changing those uh, things, yep. Okay, uh, slots, every open module op uh, occupies a slot. Core slots indicator shows you the available number of slots. If you reach the limit, you won't be able to open any more modules. You first have to close modules to open others. All right, there's our volcano. The pyroclastic uh, flow is happening, covering the area. Very, very high speed uh, volcanic ash. Um, it's very, very bad. That's what happened to the people of Pompeii. Uh, and there have been other pyroclastic events that have occurred. Um, but yeah, this is rough times, rough times. All right. Next volcano explosion is in 17 minutes, 55 seconds. Um, yeah, let's see. Close listed modules to save energy. Production, refinery, and research. Okay, so we're going to turn everything off. Um, energy, everything off. Okay. I think closed production module. Did I not do that? I already did that. Did that. We have closed modules. Energy bar full balance has no negative. Whatever. Press enter. Good. Uh, more slots are now open. Okay. So you can, you basically can open on this ship. It seems like four slots at a time. Okay. Thank you. Now we need to go to the storage module. I don't know why. Hello. Ah, yes. We need to probably get into here. Um, all right. Menu. Take the ship core. Uh, where, where is that? That's this one. Then we need to pick up the breach replacement packs, which I wanted extra. I wanted, we have seven. I know we need six. Pick up these modules from storage. This is important. Talk to the captain. All right. We have 16 minutes, 47 seconds. Claim drill ship. We have received a distress call from a heavily damaged drill ship that will soon surface close to our location. Use this to your advantage and claim the drill ship. Main quest objective, get it with, by using the core upgrade on it. Okay. So we're, we're going to, it says wait for surfacing, but I'm not going to wait. I'm going to go out and get it. Oh, geez. Look at all of this uh, volcanic rock raining from the sky. Right, wait for resurfacing. Now we can claim the drill ship. Oh, this is bad. This Look at this. But the whole landscape has changed. It's kind of cool that way, I suppose. Um, oh, yes. The head bob is so bad. Suffer, suffer. <laughs> We're suffering the moment. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Um, so here's the drill ship. Now, so when you walk into this drill ship, 
Core slot is a rounded object on the wall, so we need to figure out how to get in here. Let's go up this rock and get in. All right, so we need to take this thing. We've claimed it. Contact the captain through the radio. This is the radio, by the way. Uh, I had to look for all these things, and I ran out of time, because if you don't get this thing underground before the volcano erupts, you're toast, and the tutorial's over. Uh, the drill ship is heavily damaged. You have to fix it first before using it to its full potential. Gather materials and use submarines' devices to construct needed equipment. So the main quest objectives, place modules, door, window, production, and refinery to the drill ship. Uh, okay, um, that's a little bit interesting so what we need to do first is equip the repair tool which is a number one so we're going to put in walls first of all we need six walls this is why i made six walls or actually we need five walls uh oh there is a does this let us out how do we go out like if we is there a door hello oh shoot i don't know how to make a door because this looks like a door, but it's not really a door. It's just a piece of... Um, okay, place the production module. Um, location of the fixed wall. Okay. Refinery module will be placed over there. Sure. Drill ship is now fully operational with production and fire refinery systems running. You're capable to advance in the island exploration. If you lose a production module or any other important device, build new in the submarine. Okay, I need, I really need something here. Um, production station. Can I build a door? Okay, now it wants us to get stuff. I need structure. Floor, door. Okay, I need one copper plate. Okay, so let's... We really need to get some... Do we have anything in storage? Nothing. We have one... Oh, wait. We have some copper ingots. So let's go ahead and build a copper plate. No, 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 no. Not this. Go away. Go away. Uh, components. There we go. Copper plates to build a copper door, please. Oh, we need what? Energy low. Open coal... Okay, we need coal... All right, do I have any coal? No. We could run back to the ship to get some, but we're going to try to get some out here in the world. So let's go in that hill where we know that there is some. Um, okay, there's some scrap metal here. We'll take that. I don't, I don't know of a use for the copper scrap metal yet, but uh, we'll find it. Jeez Louise, that's scary. Okay. Let's see if we can have coal from over here if we need to go somewhere else and find it. Let's see, aha, the coal has respawned. Yay. Probably it's the volcano. It hasn't actually respawned. It's not like disappear or appearing from nowhere. The coal is actually being ejected out of the volcano and landing in the same exact spot it was before. Okay, I didn't notice that it was done. Um, so we have a little bit of coal. Looks like that might be more coal over there. I'm using run prodigiously. Okay. Gotta watch that volcano eruption because I've never actually survived this thing. The thing about the eruption is that I took um, shelter in the captain's ship and I thought, ah, you know, the other ship's going to be fine. Uh, and it wasn't. It really wasn't fine. Um, so we had that slight issue of um, the whole thing being destroyed and I could basically mine the whole ship. That was not ideal. That was really not ideal. I have to say that that way. Um, and I'm hoping that we can kind of get it sorted within the next 12 minutes or so or less hopefully there we go let's go up here there was some copper up there yes okay i am running because i am really worried okay there we go we have stuff we have there are trees here who cares about trees all we need is copper and coal trees are not the enemy in this game and that's okay Okay, what I would like to do... Alright, we still have some inventory slots. Mm. I really want to start all of this stuff uh, progressing. I am not going to get involved with those guys down there. They are very dangerous. Trust me on this one. They will shoot at you. I have a gun, uh, and I do have health packs, but still. Uh, we would really like to avoid being shot at at the present moment. 
I'm very tempted to steal the coal from the, the captain's ship. <laughs> we might just do that. We might go over there and steal stuff from them. Um, cause that seems reasonable to me. Oh, and I forgot to put the door in. Um, yeah, that's not ideal either. Oops. Okay. We want to get over here. Come back in. Got to get in the door. In the exploded thingy majingy. Okay. So hi. Oh, no item available. No, I've locked it. I'm locked in now. Um, oh, I didn't make the door. Oh, shoot. Okay. It's fine. Storage. Hello. Menu. Hello. Oopsie. I have to unselect the thingy majingy. Nope. Come on. Can you please let me transfer stuff? Thank you. Put this stuff in here. I hope this is right. Um, I, oh dear. Ah, it's not on. Okay, let's see. Can we turn this on? Can we turn on the generator? Of course, lots. Menu. Hello. Oh dear. I now have a problem. I'm now uh, really worried. Here's this thing. Turn this off. We need the power thing on. Where's the power module? Is that upstairs? Work table. Ah, there's our power module. There we go. Okay, so hopefully... Oh, how do I get down? Come on. There we go. Right. So we're... Come on, turn on. There we go. Hello. Hello. Ah, there we are. Okay. Whew. Okay. Wait. Oh. Hello. Why did it stop? Why did it stop? Turn on. Turn on. Look. Look, look. We have coal for you. Hello. Yes. Um. Is it the power thing that's not working somehow? Core slots. Okay, we do have energy now. That's good. All right, so for some reason, it was not working as I wanted it to. Um, but now it is. All right, I'm very scared right now. I want to go steal the coal from the captain's ship. Um, module not open. So we need to open this production station, which is... I don't know what that is. Okay. Can you, can you make this, please? Production station. Is that it? Over there? Oh, jeez. I've put them on the wrong places. <laughs> the refinery station should be this one. And the production station should be that one. Oh, God. Okay. All right. It's fine. It's fine. Storage. Let's see if we can make the door and actually get out of here. Um, let's see. Now then. Help. Oh, wait, wait. Um... Inventory door. Yes. Can I make a door here? Drill ship under attack. I wonder if it's under attack by me. Probably. This is really weird. Okay. This is this is not ideal. I feel like I'm going to fail at this tutorial right now. Okay. Hey, there we go. No item available. Why the heck not? I don't get this. I really don't understand this. All right, I'm going to go quickly and get the materials from <sighs> this game. Oh, no. Lots of copper scrap metal there. Wow. Okay, let's go and steal the coal from the main ship. I fear that we won't have enough. I mean, we gathered it after all. The captain go and gather his own stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. We need to refine copper. All right. Hopefully it's going to teach us how to make a door. Uh, at the moment, I am very scared. I don't know how to do things. Okay. Let's go down here. I'm going to go to the storage thingy menu. Oh, no, 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 no. Two. No. There we go. Okay. Copper. Let's take all the stuff here that we can. That's it. All right. That's fine. We will go now. Leave. 
captain can go get his own stuff. All right. Wants us to repair stuff. I'm actually very, very scared right now um, with the volcano eruption happening in five minutes and 40 seconds. I thought I had it all under control. I did. I really thought I did. Looks like with the full backpack, it... Uh, oh, no, it does. Okay, never mind. I thought it didn't show the energy bar at all. That's really strange that it, like, disappears completely. All right. Refined copper. Okay, let's hurry, hurry. Go, go, go. This this is actually quite stressful. And this is the tutorial, guys. This is um <clears throat> interesting. Okay. Um, where is this? The Universal Storage Center. Here it is. Okay, good. Um, let's just put all this junk in here. We have stuff. All right. Produce copper bolts. So we got to be ready to do that. We have lots of coal now. Good, good, good. All right. Copper bolts. We need to do five. One, two, three, four, five. Copper plate six. One, two. Oh, if you interrupt it, apparently it doesn't make them all. Okay, I thought I'd put them in a queue. Okay, and tubes. Right. How many do I need? Uh, thingy. Hello. Okay, produce breach replacement. Okay, so now it's telling me to do make more of these. Um, it's under module, no? Consumables. Okay. Okay, make five of them. Okay, produce door module. Ah, right. Okay. Okay, so we did this. Select tab modules, produce required items. All right, I, I don't know how many we're going to do. How many doors do I need? Game, hello. Pick items from storage. I don't know if it actually wants me to produce this many or if it's just being a little pesky or something. Okay, and we need to get the breaches. We got those, yes. Okay, repair tool, yes. Uh... Replace breached modules. Yes, I've already done that. Replace sidewalls. We'll get the... Uh, replace breached ceiling. Ooh, I didn't know that. Okay. There's these. Okay, so that's good. The sidewalls as well. Here's one. Okay. Ooh. Can make ones with little windows. I like the windows. Cool. All right, contact the captain through the drill ship. Is this a door? Oh, ah, those are door modules, I see. Okay, all right, so let's talk to the captain then. Hello. Uh, all right, repair the storage module. Uh, produce needs repair tool to fix it, accept. Okay, I'm really worried about stuff. Okay, so produce copper plates. Oh God, okay. Uh, components, plates, I don't know how many. All right, produce repair kit. Go. Pick up items from storage. Yes, we will. Thank you. Oh god, the world is shaking. Look at the damage module icon. Where would that be? Okay. Let's go up here, maybe. Damaged things. Oh dear. Where? Hundred, 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 hundred. Everything I'm looking at is at a hundred. Is it outside? Ah, here it is. Okay. Module repair kit. Okay, I'm clicking, hold clicking. It's very slow. Oh dear. Okay, good. Contact the captain. Hello. Uh, okay. Hide from eruption. <laughs> okay, we need to gather enough coal. Okay, that's fine. Place a coal power plant T1 on the ceiling. Uh, build an extra power plant. All right, so let's go to go. All right, travel to new location too. Yeah, let's do this. Uh, whoa. Tra uh huh. All right. Target one surface. Nope. 
target two, right. Once the surface option is up, ensure the surface option is set up down arrows. Okay, down I think. Travel. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We haven't died yet. Almost though. Ha! <laughs> 35 seconds until death. Okay. Alright, here we go. There we go. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm doing something. Whoa! My, my world is sliding around. Okay. We might be underground. That's the radio. Do we have a periscope in here? I don't see one. What's up the stairs? Periscope, there it is. Oh, oh, okay. Up. Here we go again. All right. Wow. Superheated ash. Dang, here it comes. Yo. All right. Escape. Okay, we, uh, <laughs> okay, stay underground with the drill ship until the eruption is over. Okay, deploy the drill ship on the surface. Okay, but I think what we should do is save the game and continue this adventure in the next episode because we're about at 30 minutes here. So thank you so very much for joining me. <laughs> I've been very stressed this entire time, as you can hear, but we just made it. I'm so proud that we did not die yet. So... Thank you again. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.